Welcome to our PowerPoint presentation on Boolean searching. Today we'll be talking about searching databases with Boolean searching techniques. We'll start our uh, journey from the library homepage under databases. You click on databases, it brings you to our database page, which the top part looks like this. What exactly is a database? According to the World Book Online, a database is a collection of related records or information stored on a computer and organized to make any part of it accessible. What is the best way to use a database? Especially when your uh, mind is saying, I can't find anything on my topic. Okay, there are a lot of reasons why you might not be able to find information on your topic initially. One key problem that we have with students all the time is spelling. Did you misspell the word? Are you too specific in your search? Have you typed in a complete phrase in searching and the computer database then is going to look for that specific word order? So if they can't find your phrase, they're either going to come up and say no results found or they're going to start looking at words within the phrase called proximity searching and they're going to bring in tons of stuff you do not need. Is your search too broad? Have you brought in everything but the kitchen sink in your searching and you have too much information to go through? Are you using the right database aligned with your topic? Now the database page that was initially brought up um, contains a listing of all the databases that we subscribe to in our building what the district does, and also those that are supplied to us by the state. Now you can go through and read the brief description on the right hand side and it will tell you what database you're using. So you really want to make sure that you are using the right database for your subject. Keywords versus subject words. Again, what we're talking about are being too broad and too specific. Okay, if you use the Gale database, just one of them, um, they have something called a power search. And what you want to do is click on the tab that says advanced search. But what we've done initially is just in the power search done one subject. A couple years ago the Kansas City Chiefs um, were having some negotiations with local Native American groups regarding their mascot. So we were looking to see what kind of information we could find in Gale with that specific subject. So we typed in the Kansas City Chiefs and their problems with their mascots with Native American groups. We came up with no results whatsoever. Now, if you click on um, the main page of that using Boolean searching, you're going to come up with different results. A Boolean searching is named after a British mathematician and it's all about creating a more useful search statement. For example, you're looking for that article about the Kansas City Chiefs. If you do Kansas City Chiefs in Gale, Kansas City alone comes up with over 49,000 hits. That's a lot of articles to begin your search on. If you just put in Chiefs, it's over 17,000. Okay, Boolean operators are the words and, or, or not. And narrows your search. Kansas City and Chiefs came up with a little over 1,100 hits. And what you can see here in the middle, blue are all the Kansas City articles. The lighter red is um, a circle containing the Chiefs articles, but the darker red here in the middle, the 1100 hits, contains articles with both Kansas City and Chiefs. That's how Boolean operators work. 
If you put in Native Americans, you would have Kansas City and Chiefs and Native Americans. You came up with two articles. We opened both of these articles up and we could use both of them in our paper. Okay, the word or broadens or expands a search. Kansas City or Chiefs is over 65,000 hits. So you've got Kansas City Chief articles, but you've also got the articles just dealing with Kansas City and those just dealing with the Chiefs. Not limits a search. If you type in Kansas City not Chiefs, now we're down to 48,000 hits. Chiefs not Kansas City, we have 16,000 hits. Okay, on the Gale databases again, we scroll through there and pick which ones we want. And again, um, on this time we use the word economy. Using the advanced search, we come up with drop down boxes where you would put in, if you were looking at the Kansas City articles, Kansas City on one box, Chiefs on the other, mascot on the other, or whatever you were searching for. But if you also look over on the left hand side, you've got and, or, or not. So you could put Kansas City and Chiefs, not railroad. So you've got your Boolean operators, just what we were talking about, built into your databases. Some of them have them, some of them don't. Some of them are becoming more and more intuitive. But the ones that aren't, you do need to change these and learn how to work them. Another thing to check on the box for databases, um, possibly uh, documents with full text so you don't just get the citation. If you're looking for scholarly peer-reviewed journals, you would check that box. And if you don't want articles just with images, you would check that one. Now, you might be able to use the images later on. We're talking about photos, charts, and graphs. But don't check that box initially because that will drastically cut down the amount of positive hits you get. Back to our database page. <clears throat> Some examples of databases that you could use are American Government, which provides a complete multifaceted examination of the foundations of our government. The Gale Virtual Reference Library is a reference library of encyclopedias, specialized reference print for multidisciplinary research. An example of the Gale Virtual Reference Library page. A lot of students have the question when they're at home, I'm at home and I can't open the databases. It is possible and the databases are accessible to you at home or at school. Go back to the library database page and click on passwords. This will give you the passwords for the various databases that are available to BVHS students in order to access sites off campus. There's only two things you have to know to enter the the password page. One is the username, the second one is our password. Our username is Tigers. Our password is Research. R-E-S-E-A-R-C-H. If you click on OK, it'll bring you to our password page which has all our databases with links to those databases and information regarding what passwords or student ID you would need to access those databases. For example, the Gale Virtual Reference Library link with the ID and the remote access ID. Are there any questions? If you do, please do not hesitate to come to the library, ask some of the uh, librarians, or people at the circulation desk will be glad to help you.